This program brought to you in part by the Erica Lewis Endowment Fund. Tonight, it's Team Crafty taking on Team Betancourt. This is the Blue League All-Star Match of Varsity Quiz. Hello and welcome. This is the 55th season of Varsity Quiz. We've got the best and the brightest high school students matching wits in this challenging academic competition. Now in this match, we're saluting the young men and women of the Blue League with this year's All-Star Match featuring superstars from some of the 10 Blue League schools that participated this year. Students have been randomly assigned to our two different teams. Now this All-Star Match is a little bit different than our regular season matches. We're going to have four timed rounds with up to 20 toss of questions. Each question in this round, it's kind of a lighthearted match worth five points. Let's meet our first round players starting with Team Crafty. Students, remember, tell us your name, your grade, and your school. We'll start with Carly. Hi, I'm Carly Jones. I'm a senior and I'm from Centennial High School. Hi, I'm Sage Tyra. I am also a senior from Centennial High School. Hi, my name is Elowen and I'm a senior at Southeast Tech. Hi, my name is Devin and I'm a senior at Valley High School. And the coach for Team Crafty, Sarah Moore. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Team Crafty. And now let's meet our players for Team Betancourt. Again, we'll start with Naomi, your name, your grade, and uh, what school you go to. Hi, I'm Naomi, um, and I'm a sophomore at Silverado High School. Hi, I'm Reeston, I'm a freshman, and I'm from Northeast Career and Tech. Hi, I'm Dietrich, I'm a senior from Del Sol Academy. Hi, I'm James, and I'm a senior attending Mojave High School. And the coach for Team Betancourt, Jason Bates. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Team Betancourt. <laughs> and we will explain why those teams are given those names, but we want to get into the competition here. And students, a reminder to please speak up. If you're a shy person, unfortunately, you're going to have to kind of kick it up here. Uh, we want to make sure that the judges can hear you. The microphones will be great for the viewers at home, but you have to be loud and clear for all of us here in the studio. In the meantime, uh, remember that uh, you have to wait until you are recognized and no answers will be allowed. We're going to control your buzzers. You won't be able to buzz in until the entire question has been read. Are you ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. Which part of the brain controls balance and equilibrium? Team Betancourt, Reeston. The cerebellum. Correct. Points on the board for Betancourt. Next question. The name of which popular 80s video game is derived from a Japanese slang term for opening and closing your mouth? Oh, you're going to kick yourself. Don't you all play Pac-Man? Okay, next question. In the sentence, the squirrel ran into the tree, which word in that sentence is a preposition? Uh, that's Crafty, Devin. Into. Correct. Points on the board for Crafty. Let's keep going. Which social media platform is known for its disappearing photo and video messages? <phone rings> Betancourt Dietrich. Snapchat. Yeah, is, is Snapchat still a thing? For a little bit? Okay, for some of you. All right. Hey, imaginary lines that run parallel to the equator, those are called lines of what? <phone rings> Team Crafty, Carly. Latitude. That is correct. We had a correct answer there, Dietrich. You're good. Next question. Name the car company that went out of business before the Back to the Future movie came out where that car was featured. Betancourt, Dietrich. DeLorean. Yeah, love the DeLorean. Next question. Hernando de Soto was the first European explorer to see which body of water? Crafty, Devin. The Pacific Ocean. No. Uh, Betancourt, Dietrich? Gulf of Mexico? No, he saw the Mississippi River. Next question. In November 1983, a shortage of one of the most sought after dolls led to mom riots in toy stores. What toy was it? <phone rings> Betancourt, Dietrich? Cabbage Patch Kid? Yeah. Anybody got Cabbage Patch dolls? Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Hey, Clark Kent is the mild mannered reporter for what newspaper? Crafty, Elowen? The Daily, da oh. Daily Planet. Yeah, well, I was going to say, Elowen, your voice changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's Superman, right? 
Hopefully you all are fans of Superman. Okay, who invented the electric generator? <phone rings> Crafty, Carly. Nikola Tesla. Incorrect. You're on the right track, though. Uh, did he get in in time? Um, Betancourt Dietrich? Elon Musk? No. <laughs> he, I'm sure he would like to think so, but it was Michael Faraday. Next question. In which state will you find the Wasatch Mountains? Uh, Betancourt, Dietrich? South Dakota? No. Uh, Craffy, Devin? North Dakota. No, it's right next door. They're in Utah. Next question. Amazon.com was launched in 1994, but originally they only sold what? Uh, Betancourt, James? Books. Yeah, can you imagine that? Books. All right. What was the first successful type of photography? Betancourt, Reeston. Portraits. Incorrect. Hopefully you've heard of this. It's daguerreotype. It's a good word to look up, and they're cool pictures. All right, next question. In the United States government, who signs national bills that become law? Betancourt, Dietrich. The president. Yes, sir. Maggie Smith played which character in the popular Harry Potter movies? Uh, that's Crafty Elowen. Professor McGonagall. I think we can take that. Yeah, absolutely. We gotta love our Harry Potter, don't you? You guys are still Potter people, all right? Okay. Uh, causing a major uproar, the recipe for which popular soft drink was famously changed in 1985? Betancourt Dietrich? Coke. Yeah, they called it New Coke. Nobody liked it. <laughs> Next question. Who was the Greek goddess of the dawn? Uh, Betancourt, Naomi? Ales? Yes. There you go. Yes, you got to speak up a little bit. Use your playground voice. Remember those? Next question. Uh, how many U.S. Senators are there? Uh, Crafty, Elwin? 100. Yeah. Are we still rolling? Or are we out of time? No, we still, we still got time. Oh, good. Let's keep going then. What branch of science focuses on the study of rocks and minerals? That's crafty, Devin. Geology? Yes, and we are out of time. All right, now before we go on, we did want to say, well, let's explain the all-star team names. Team Betancourt is named for Carlos Betancourt. Now, Carlos coached varsity quiz teams for 16 years, served as a moderator for both junior varsity quiz and varsity quiz in the school competitions, one of the very first members of the Varsity Quiz Hall of Fame. So that's where Team Betancourt comes from. Now, Team Crafty. The uh, Team Crafty is named in the memory of Dick Crafty. Dick was a member of the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas, honorary varsity quiz head judge. Man, he judged matches twice a week for 32 years. Dick also an inaugural member of the Varsity Quiz Hall of Fame, also a member of the CCST Hall of Fame. All right, let's move on to round two. All right, the score, getting ready for round two here. Team Crafty has 30 points to Team Betancourt's 40. We have a couple of new players for Team Crafty. We'll start with Nestor. Remember your name, your grade, and your school. Hi, I'm Nestor. I'm, fr I'm from Northeast Korean Technical Academy, and I'm a freshman. Excellent. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Jacob from Mojave High School, and I'm in grade 10. Wonderful. And um, we know Elowen. She was here before. Hi, I'm Absalon. I'm a senior at Dulso Academy. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Crafty, give it up. And Team Betancourt is staying the same. We'll see if they sub out some players, but Naomi Reese and Dietrich James, good luck here in round two. Let's keep going. All right. In what book is the planet Arrakis the only sort of the sought-after drug melange? Crafty, Elowen. Dune. Yes. What album released in 1982 by the King of Pop is the best-selling album of all time? Crafty, Absalon. Thriller. Yeah, don't you guys, everybody has that, don't they? Isn't it on your Spotify? Okay. Next question. If you're wearing Chuck Taylors, which company made them? Team Betancourt, James. Converse. Yeah, you don't need to lean into the mic. We got you, James. Yeah, you're all good. Yeah, anybody got Chucks? Everybody has Chucks, yeah. Next question. Remember the young hero of the movie E.T., Elliot, uses a trail of which candy to lure the alien out of hiding? Betancourt, Dietrich. Skittles. No. Crafty, Absalon. M&M's. No, no. You guys have all seen E.T., haven't you? 
Oh, you got to. It's Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. That was a very young Drew Barrymore. Okay, never mind. Next question. How many years are there in one presidential term? <phone rings> Crafty Elwin. Four. Correct. What haircut, named for a character on the sitcom Friends, was very popular in the 90s? <phone rings> of Team Betancourt Reeston? A bob cut? No. <phone rings> Nobody watched Friends? It was the Rachel. Go back and Google it or it's on the YouTubes. Next question. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Betancourt Dietrich. Louisiana Territory. You got it. The hottest temperature ever recorded on our planet, 134 degrees in 1913, in which desert valley in the southwestern U.S.? Betancourt Dietrich. Death Valley. Yes. Remember, you can't buzz in until the question has been asked in its entirety. Yeah, that's a, it's different than the regular varsity quiz match, Absalon. Here we go. Next question. Uh, what month is the U.S. presidential election held in? Betancourt, Naomi. November. Yes. Which ambitious wife of a Shakespearean title character goads her husband into committing regicide so she could be the Queen of Scotland? Graffy, Absalon? Mary? No? It was Lady Macbeth. Okay. Uh, who started the first free libraries in the United States? Betancourt, Naomi? Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, he sure did. I mean, he was ahead of his time. Hopefully, you all have library cards. Libraries? Awesome. Next question. Which gadget developed in the 1980s was originally marketed in the United States as something called a soundabout? Betancourt Dietrich. A Sony Walkman? Yeah. Good for you, man. I mean, because I was, I'm surprised you guys would even know what a Walkman is. I mean, you, you remember cassette tapes? Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, let's see. How many amendments are there to the United States Constitution? Crafty, Absalon. 28. Nope. Betancourt, James. 24. Nope, 27. All good. Next question. The Erie Canal connects Lake Erie to what river? Craffy, Nestor. Uh, Lake Ontario. Nope. Uh, Betancourt, Naomi. The Mississippi with it? No, it connects it to the Hudson River. Next question. Superhero Batman. They also call him the Caped Crusader. What superhero is known as the Man Without Fear? Graffy, Absalon. Superman? Nope. Betancourt, Dietrich. Spider-Man. No, you haven't you guys heard of Daredevil? <laughs> oh, Absalon's <laughs> hitting himself. All right, next question. This was in 1982. Great Britain fought an undeclared war with what nation to maintain control of the Falkland Islands? Graffy, Nestor. Uh, Argentina. Yes. Who was president of the United States during the swearing-in of the first... Female U.S. Supreme Court Justice. Crafty Absalon. Uh, Barack Obama. No. Betancourt Dietrich. Bill Clinton. No, it was Ronald Reagan. And all oh, we're out of time for the second round. All right, we're going into round three of our Blue League All-Star match. Team Crafty has 50 points to Team Betancourt's 70. Uh, we got a couple of returning players, but we'll have you guys reintroduce yourselves. We'll start with Carly. Hi, I'm Carly Jones. I'm a senior, and I'm from Centennial High School. And hi, I'm Sage Tyra. I'm also a senior from Centennial High School. And Nestor and Jacob were with us last round. Thank you, guys. Uh, we have a couple of new players for Team Betancourt. We'll start with Christopher, name grade in your school. Hi, I'm Christopher Wilson. I'm from uh, Secton. I'm a 12th grader. Excellent. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm a freshman from Valley High School. Wonderful. And Reeston and James were with us in the last round. So here we go. Uh, which Hall of Fame athlete retired from basketball in 1993 because he wanted to play minor league baseball? Crafty Jacob. Michael Jordan. You got it. Next question. How many voting members does the House of Representatives have? It's your government question. Uh, Betancourt, James. 452. Nope. And you don't have to lean in, James. We got you, man. Uh, Team Crafty, Carly? 523. Wow, that's a random number. It's 435. 
Now, the total number of Congress people that serve at any given time is 535 because of the 100 senators and the 430. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> History's worst nuclear accident was the Chernobyl meltdown of 1986. It occurred in the Soviet Union, where what country is now? And that's Team Betancourt, Christopher. Russia. No. Uh, that's Team Crafty, Nestor. Ukraine. Yeah. Bizarre, right? Uh, what company's tanker spilled 11 million gallons of crude oil across Alaskan waters in 1989? Crafty Nestor. Exxon. Yes. Uh, responding to a question from an elementary school student, what imperative demand did First Lady Nancy Reagan respond, which kind of turned into a slogan to keep kids drug free? <phone rings> Team Crafty, Carly. Dare. To no. <laughs> oh. No. You're, I think you're going to kick yourself when you hear it. <phone rings> Have you guys ever heard just say no? Yeah, that was Nancy Reagan. Next question, what's the name of the doctor's time machine in the TV show Doctor Who? <phone rings> Crafty, Jacob. The TARDIS. Yes, I was hoping we had some Doctor Who fans here. Thank you, Jacob. Next question, what does the acronym VPN stand for in internet security? <phone rings> Betancourt, James. Virtual private network. You got it. What song by Los Del Rio that goes with a dance Spent 14 weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1996. Man, does that get stuck in your head. <phone rings> Team Crafty, Jacob. Macarena. Yeah, can you do the Macarena? No, we're, we're all better off. Next question. Delhi, the largest in terms of area, but what city in India is the biggest by population? <phone rings> Crafty, Nestor. Mumbai. Yes. Who wrote The Color Purple? Oh, Alice Walker. And I guess there's a new movie out, a new version. Next question. The first major international crisis of the post-Cold War era was the Persian Gulf War, started in August of 1990 when Iraq invaded what country? <phone rings> Crafty Nestor. Kuwait. Yes. Their energy comes from matter falling into a black hole. What are these brightest objects in the universe? <phone rings> Crafty Nestor. Stars. Nope. Betancourt, James. Magnetars? Nope. They are quasars. Oh, you'll kick yourself. <laughs> and remember, James, we got you. You don't need to lean in. I know it's like, it's cool, but we got you. Next question. What social media platform is primarily focused on professional networking? <phone rings> Crafty, Carly. LinkedIn. Yeah, how many of you have LinkedIn's? Nobody? All right. You guys probably don't even do Facebook. Yeah, no. Snapchat? No. no. IG? Yeah. You all on the ground? No. All on the ground. <laughs> no. All right. Moving on. Uh, which uh, the USA's only national park south of the equator lies in the rainforests of which territory? <phone rings> Crafty, Nestor? Brazil. No. <phone rings> Betancourt, Reeston? Argentina? No, because this is a territory. We were looking for American Samoa. Kind of a trick question there. Next question. In 1992, which presidential candidate played the saxophone on the Arsenio Hall show? <phone rings> Betancourt, James. Bill Clinton. Yeah. I mean, look that one up on the YouTube. He was wearing shades. That's how cool he was. Next question. What city was the birthplace of 90s grunge music, home to Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden? Crafty, Nestor? St. Louis? No. Betancourt, James? Seattle? Yeah, baby. Smells like Teen Spirit, man. Okay. Oh, darn, we're out of time. There's more lighthearted Blue League All Star fun right around the corner. Hey, we're going into our final round, and we have a close Blue League All Star match. Team Crafty has 90 points to Team Betancourt's 85. Can't get a whole lot closer than that. And we got a couple of returning players. Let's just have everybody introduce themselves all over again, starting with Devin here on Team Crafty. Name, grade, and school. Hi, my name is Devin. I am a senior at Valley High School. Hello, I'm Absalon. I'm a senior at Del Sol Academy. Hi, my name is Carly Jones. I'm a senior from Centennial High School. Hi, I'm Sage Tyra, and I am also a senior from Centennial High School. We were just checking to see if that was all still true. 
And for Team Betancourt, go ahead. I'm Christopher Wilson, a senior from SECTA. Hi, I'm Reeston, and I'm a freshman from Northeast Career and Tech. Hi, I'm Maddie, I'm a freshman from Valley High School. Hi, I'm James, and I'm a senior attending Mojave High School. So you're still James? Most definitely. Awesome. All right, here we go with round four. Which cartoon character's main goal is to hunt down Bugs Bunny? Crafty, Devin. Elmer Fudd. Yeah, I'm all with that, got that wascally wabbit. Best cartoon of all time. Which country experienced a devastating earthquake in February 2023? Crafty, Devin. Japan. No. Betancourt, James. Turkey. No, this was the Syria or Syria-Pakistan earthquake. There's unfortunately a bunch of them. Who was the French military officer and hero of the American Revolution who later played a significant role in the French Revolution? Crafty, Sage. Marquise de Lafayette. Yes, obviously you're a Hamilton fan. Me too. <laughs> Which character did Brian Cranston play in Breaking Bad? Betancourt, James. Walter White. Everybody is into the Breaking Bad. <laughs> Absalon's doing a Walter White over there. Okay, carbon dating is used to determine what about the remnants found from the past? Crafty, Carly. H. Yeah. I, I myself am carbon dated. Next question. For which movie did DreamWorks Animation win the first Academy Award for the Best Animated Feature? Crafty, Devin. Shrek. Yeah. Shrek fans, yes, no? Oh, yeah. We're crack a -lackin'. Oh, that was, no, that was Madagascar. Never mind. Next question. What's the name of the brightest star in the night sky in the northern hemisphere? Crafty, Absalon. Polaris. No. Betancourt, Christopher. The northern star? No, the, the answer is, are you serious? Thank you. If both the President and Vice President of the United States can no longer serve, who becomes President? And that's Betancourt James. The Speaker of the House? That's correct. In which romantic comedy did Taylor Swift make her feature film debut? Crappy, Sage. Valentine's Day. Shaw. Swifties, everybody? No, not so much? All right. What author wrote the popular novel the Joy Luck Club. Check it out from your library. Amy Tan, fantastic book. Uh, what aptly titled 80s hit was the first music video ever played on MTV? Crafty Sage. Video killed the radio star. Wow, an MTV junkie, yeah. I, and just for the fun of it, do you know who did that song? The Beagles. Well, it was the Buggles. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, the subway is to New York as the blank is to London. Crafty, Absalon? Uh, the system. The, uh, no. <laughs> Sounds painful. Betancourt, Christopher. The monorail system? No, it's the tube. Yes, take a ride on the tube. Next question. What humorous pop song was released by the South Korean singer Psy in 2012? Betancourt James? Gangnam Style. Yeah, are you going to do a little bit for us? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Next question. When was the Constitution written? Crafty, Devin. 1980, no, 1789. No, that was fun though. Betancourt, Christopher? 1789. No, 1787. Whoa. Next question. Who provided the voice for the forgetful but lovable Dory in Finding Nemo? Crafty, Sage? Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, you're our showbiz questioner. There we go. But everybody loved Finding Nemo, I hope. I mean, with fronds like these, who needs anemones? What's the name of Michelle Obama's 2018 memoir? Also a fantastic book. It's called Becoming. Next question. If you were in Australia, somebody might greet you by saying, Good day, blank. Betancourt Reeston. Me. That's right. Yeah, good day. Next question. Who won the first season of American Idol? 
Betancourt, Maddie. Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. She's got her own TV show now. Oh, darn, we're out of time. Hey, uh, we also want to take just a quick moment here to say thank you to the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. Man, they have provided decades of help for the in-school competitions that get VQ going every year. We sure appreciate the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. A salute to their fine work in the community. Also, if you don't mind, a quick shout out to the staff and the leadership of the Clark County School District Student Activities Department. They coordinate every step of the program from early in the school year all the way to the championships. Let's find out who won. The final score of the Blue League All-Star Team Craffy, 125 points. <laughs> Team Betancourt, 110 points. But congratulations to both teams, but Team Craffy is the champion of the Blue League All-Stars. Hey, before we go, I just want to take a second to let you know how grateful we are to all the folks that make Varsity Quiz the success that it is. We're talking about all of the coaches. We're definitely talking about the teachers of these young men and women. But I think we should also throw out some love to the parents of these students. Students, can we give it up for your moms and dads? And we hope that you will join us next week when the road to the Silver League Championship begins as Coronado will take on Gorman. Thanks for tuning in to Varsity Quiz on Vegas PBS. Good night.